Hi everyone, I'm back! It is nearly Christmas time and I'm so excited! I have been super busy at work the last few weeks. I'm back to face-to-face -face teaching, so it's been super busy, super packed, but I'm really excited to get this video to you. So for end of year gifts this year, I'm giving all my students the cutest reindeers. <laughs> so with the chopper chop included. So I wanna show you exactly how to make these with your Cricut machine. It's super easy and they're super cute. So let's go. So I'm making my reindeers in a bunch of different colors. So I've got basically every color under the sun. So to make these pretty reindeers, I've used 125 GSM paper. So it's not super thick, it's not hard to close over each other, but it still does a job. You can obviously choose whatever weight you want. So if you want it to be a little bit stronger, a little bit looser, up to you. But I like this weight for my paper because it's still pretty flimsy, but you can easily glue it together. So I just bought mine from Officeworks, as you can see, 125 GSM, and I fit about three of these reindeers per page. So also what you need is some chopper chops, so you can buy in bulk if you want. I've got about 125 students that I need to get these made for. So I've done one class so far and I've got plenty to go. So some of the reindeers you can get online are uh, quite a small hole and then quite big reindeer. I've made my reindeers a little bit smaller and then just made that hole bigger. So the lollipop still fits in, but the overall size is small. So I'm gonna post a link in the comments to my own version of this reindeer, which you'll be able to download and use in your Cricut Design Space. Okay, so I've got my reindeers here in the Cricut Design Space. As you can see, I've added three to this page as that's what's gonna fit on my A4 piece of paper. Each reindeer is about 18 centimeters long, just so it's big enough to fit that chop chop inside. So I've got all three together. They were on a separate layer and I've attached them together to make it cut on the same page. So we're gonna hit make it and it's gonna bring me to this page. Everything's looking good. They're all in those red lines, all good. I might drag it down just a tiny bit just to make sure those little reindeer ears don't get cut off when we cut through the Cricut. So I'm happy with all that. I'm going to click continue and then I'm going to connect my device and load my mat. So the mat I'm using is still the standard grip mat, which is the blue mat. And I've loaded up my paper very firmly onto the mat. So we're going to put this through the Cricut and then watch it cut. So I've loaded my mat into the machine and I've actually got it on this iron on setting here. So usually it would be on this light stock card stock setting or even paper, but I've tried all these different settings and none of them worked except for the iron on. So I've just popped it on that and you can always have a play around with the different strengths of the paper to see which works best for you. But I found this iron on setting has been the best for me. So we're gonna pop it through the machine as I've loaded up already. I can just hit this C and then let it go through. All right, so we're going to unload it. And then you can see them all cut through. We're gonna peel off the rest of the paper and we should just have our little reindeers left. So we now have our little reindeers remaining on our page. So I'm just gonna peel these off carefully, just using my fingers, and then I should have the outlines all good to go. So we've got our reindeers now all good to go. They've been taken off the mat. You'll see you have some excess noses and dots that you wanna get rid of. You can either use a tool like this to scrape it off or you can just pick it off with your fingers, whatever you prefer. So now we've got our reindeers and they're all ready to go. All you need now is your chopper chop and you use that hole in the middle to push chopper chop through and then you just close it over and your chopper chop will be in the middle. I like to use this thing called glue dots, which helps me stick it down. So I just put one dot there, fold it in the middle, stick it down and then it's ready to go. And then you've got beautiful reindeers like this. So this is the perfect easy gift to give to either your students or your friends or whoever. But if you have any other questions, let me know and I'd love to help you out. I've got a lot of reindeers to make, but otherwise I will see you next time. Bye!